And this time we have three different topics. First particles, then third person, and then sound. Let's start with the particles. I've added a very simple particle system. Let's take a look at what that looks like. It can be used for other stuff besides uh, block destruction, but uh, currently that's the only use case. And uh, yeah, so it takes a random um, position for each particle in the source texture and then just uh, generates a quad, uh, camera aligned quad for that. And the, the individual particles also collide with the world to make it a bit more fun. Yes, um, it's very simple. Just uh, three data structures. First, we have the static data, which is uh, the stuff that doesn't change over the lifetime of the particle. Then we have the dynamic data, which is changed every frame. And then just a simple container for the two with a count, so we don't uh, reallocate anything. And the vectors are uh, resized to a fixed size for whatever number of particles we want to support. And in the update function, we just go through all the particles and first we check if the particle is dead. If it's dead, then we swap it to the end of the list and decrement, decrement the count. And if it's not dead, then we grab the data, calculate how much lifetime it has left for some smoother movement and uh, do a line trace into the world for the collision. And uh, after that, we just update the velocity with uh, gravity. And that's pretty much it. It's very simple, it works, it's um, cache efficient or cache coherent, I should say. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty nice too. It also works if we destroy more blocks at the same time. Let's go oh. to some stone blocks there. Yeah, that looks pretty cool, I think. Okay, next topic, uh, third person. I've added a third person camera, which looks like this. Oh. Since there is no player model, I've just enabled the uh, player hitbox drawing by default, if in third person. And uh, yeah, uh, the only interesting part about uh, third person cameras is that you have to handle collision of the camera oh. with the world, because otherwise you clip into geometry. And as you can see, that works pretty well. We don't clip into anything. We don't, the camera is not intersecting with any geometry. And uh, Although this currently depends on the FOV. So if someone has stupid FOV value, like 150, mm. and then gets very parallel to like a wall, then they can see through. Because the uh, box trace that's used for making sure the camera doesn't clip is using a fixed size. Um, it's 0.2, I think, in each axis. Minecraft does the same, just a fixed size. So at some FOV, you will clip um, and you can see through the world, uh, but that's fine. If you're playing with that sort of FOV, then yeah, that's your fault at that point. You could dynamically size the box of the trace uh, depending on the FOV, but I'm too lazy for that. So third person is also working and a fun thing you can do is change the player hitbox size to like uh, 0 0.8, so we are below one block. And now we can walk through one block tall tunnels. Very nice. Also in third uh, first person course. And jumping, hitting our head. Yeah, so that's pretty nice. Let's go back to the regular size and jump. Yes, the last topic, sound. Um, as you've already heard, destroying blocks makes a sound now. And also walking has sound depending on the movement speed. So if I add a really, if I set a really high movement speed, oh no, uh, walk speed. Yeah. So it works as you would expect from a footstep sound system. Um, it uh, depends on the amount of distance traveled. So if you run into a wall, then only depending on the amount of distance you travel, you hear the next footstep sound. And there is one edge case for jumping. So such that if you land on the ground, then you also always hear a footstep sound. Yeah, 
as you would expect. Very nice. Um, and I forgot to show the code for the camera, for the third person camera. It's just one line of code. So we set the orbit distance depending on the result of the box trace. And if we hit anything, then we just only go that far just before we hit the thing. And that's that. And that's how third person works. That's it for now.